I got a quick question. Are you tired of passing your late outputs in your Google Classroom? And your teacher keeps deducting your points, determining how irresponsible you are, or having a problem on managing your time? I have a quick and easy solution for you. Transforming your work from this to this. That's right, you heard it right. So basically, I'm in my computer right now at my laptop. What you wanna go first is go to to your Google um, Chrome browser or any type of that and I've already opened my Google Classroom. The second thing you want to do is you're going to search Canva. It's already searched for me and you're going to see this website. In my Google Classroom, I have an assigned work to do and the next step you want to do is to determine if you're going to submit a video output or a PowerPoint presentation. Now I click PowerPoint presentation because I'm going to make it. I think we're done right here. So if you want to change your background uh, color, you're just going to click this one and click this multiple background color. Click the back, the black background. And there's some text section around here. The heading, the subheading, and a little bit of body text. Now I recently used this uh, add a subheading and you could just drag all over here and you want to click this and click text color and I want to change it to yellow and you could just copy and paste this Control C or Command C and Command V or Control V and it's just gonna automatically um, copy paste that and after you copy paste all the question in the yellow text what you want to do is to make your answer uh, white text then there's a bunch of question You're just gonna copy paste and paste that and we're all done i'm just gonna speed this part of the video And after you're done with your file, you could just rename your file to anything you want, like my answer. Then click share, click anyone with this link, can view, copy link, and go to the link section, paste your link, and add link. You might be wondering, you already submitted and you wouldn't be able to make changes, then here's the difference. First, here uh, is our previous uh, file we've submitted earlier. And you might be wondering how could you change it. This is simple. You could just like, for example, you delete page 1 and page 2. Then it's already been saved. And once you click again the, the link, it would change here. I deleted page 1 and 2, but not page 3. You could still make changes in the presentation even though you submitted it in the Google Classroom. For example, I'm going to insert some photos like this, or like this, like this, like that, or or in page three, you could insert um, a bunch of photos. You can just click save, control save or command save. The funny part here is when you click the link of your output, it inserts the graphics I inserted or any picture or video. This is very useful if you're submitting late output in your Google Classroom and your teacher wouldn't notice it. And I think I've given all the tips and tricks for using Canva in order to save your outputs not getting late. Goodbye.